library system. I'm Holly from the Newcastle branch. We're going to bring the spring indoors by painting these sunny yellow daffodils on an 8x10 canvas. You'll also need to gather the following supplies. For the paint I used titanium white, yellow medium, yellow ochre, cadmium red light or an orange, ultramarine blue, and sap green. You'll also need a foam plate to put your paints on. I also used several brushes. I have a medium to large flat brush, a little bit smaller flat or filbert brush, and then a small flat brush, and then a, a small round brush. You'll also need paper towels and water to clean your brushes. But before we get started, we're going to sketch out our daffodils on some paper. So gather some paper and a pencil. And once we sketch that out, we will transfer that onto the canvas. You can use um, transfer paper or carbon paper, or if you don't have any of that, you can just color on the back of your drawing. And then once that's all colored with pencil, you turn it over and transfer your drawing onto the canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I did was made the end of the little cone shape and I'm just drawing like a wavy little circle. And then decide where it meets the flower petals. So I just did like an upside down U and then we're gonna connect that. And then there, the petals behind it, I made a circle, having that in the center of the circle. So there are six petals on daffodils. By making a petal shape and they're kind of pointing at the end and we can overlap. And we're just gonna follow around the circle. You can turn your paper over and you're just going to color that whole back of the page. And then you're going to turn it over and place that on your canvas. And then you'll just use those lines to transfer your drawing onto your canvas. I'm using a filbert brush. Get your brush wet and then dab off some of that water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip part of my left side of my brush in this darker yellow ochre. And we're just going to get a little of that and then I'm going to get the rest in that yellow medium. And I'm going to start at the top here and I'm just going to go and do the petals. Kind of let that blend so it creates the edge. And then I'm going to turn it over where the dark edge is on this side and do the same thing. Then you might want to fill it in with the yellow. So I'm going to do that with each petal. Now we're going to do the cone part of this flower. The cadmium red light and yellow medium. And I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of that yellow ochre and then the rest in that orange and go around the edge. For the inside, it's going to be a little bit darker, so I'm adding some of this yellow ochre to that orange. I'll paint the inside of that. To add a little bit of white to this yellow medium to lighten it up even more. And now let's add some highlights. For the sky, I used this titanium white and ultramarine blue. 
And we'll just start here at the top. Be very careful around your petals. Okay, I'm gonna grab the large, larger flat brush again. Take the blue and some green and white and then just start changing the color up a little as I go toward the bottom. A little more green. And it's okay to let the paints blend together on the canvas. It gives it a little variation so it's not flat. We're going to start adding the stems to our flowers and I'm using a small flat brush and I'm just dipping that into the sap green and then think about the back of the flower and where the stem would come down. Just make a line all the way down. And go ahead and make some more grasses and leaves that you would see. Just bringing them up. I'm going to start flat and then turn your brush a little. Now take some yellow medium and your sap green and mix those together. A touch of white and since the sun's probably coming from the right down, let's hit the right sides of your stems and the tops. When you're satisfied with your painting, be sure to sign it using thin down paint and a very small paintbrush. Thanks for joining the Pioneer Library System today. And if you'd like to learn more about painting flowers in acrylics and oils, check out this always available book on Hoopla with your library card. And so you don't miss a single episode, be sure to like and share below.